Hello and welcome back, my fellow Taurus Collective. This is going to be a general collective reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, especially North Node of Taurus. This is your Eclipse Gateway, so welcome in. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you, all of your love, your support. Thank you for hitting the bell below and subscribing and liking if you like the content of this message. So Taurus, let's begin. I already pre-shuffled the deck, so we're going to go ahead and start. This reading, Taurus, may not resonate for all of you out there. Keep in mind, to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I call upon our angels, are my guides. This message is for Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node. So Taurus, huge gateway with the eclipse that's happening in your sign. Now, Taurus, I feel that you're getting ready, okay, as you make the descent into Scorpio, because that's where you are. You entered Scorpio on the 23rd. This is like, I feel, the unveiling of your natural gifts. Ooh, the energy is gaining momentum. See, waxing energy, creative force. So, Taurus, the energy is intense right now with the collective during this eclipse gateway. The energy is gaining momentum. That means things are, oh, oh my gosh. Taurus, expect a powerful, powerful eclipse change. Look at that card. This is the partial um, eclipse in Scorpio that happened on the 25th and your lunar eclipse will be happening in November. I believe the 8th or 9th. I will double check with you. So, Taurus, the energy here is eclipse season is going to start and light up a new contract for you. Something new. Expect a major change here. So your energy can be right now, you could be feeling uncomfortable, agitated during these major gateway, okay? You also could be feeling like things are not anchored in right now, okay? There could also feel like when you go into this eclipse gateway here, Scorpio uh, South Node is going to go ahead and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be uncomfortable because it's going to hit you right in your self-worth where you are going to question your worth and your value. Do you feel good enough? Are you in a, in a place where you're, you're, you have creative blocks? It's going to push that one out too, right? So expect a powerful change. It's going to come in and let you know when you go into that descent, right, deep within Scorpio, nothing flies under the radar, okay, with Pluto. So pay attention, okay, to things that are coming up. These could be things that were holding you back. But I feel, Taurus, right now, nothing's holding you back. The energy is gaining momentum. It lets me know you're stripping away creative blocks and look at that Jupiter energy blessing you. So Jupiter in your sign in the Sagittarius, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or any of the signs that I called out, or you could have them in your chart. Okay. So Jupiter is the guru. So Jupiter is going to, like I feel, unveil that natural gift. Okay. You have a date with destiny here. Okay, the time is now for these life-changing events, new cycles, new chapters. Jupiter moved into Pisces. So it's going to take you into your past life, right? You could be having dreams of your past life. Pay attention to your dreams. Because with, with Jupiter going into Pisces and Neptune here, whatever seemed to be confusion, right? It's only letting me know you're going to have options. So there's something here. That's destined for you to have this turning point, okay? It's destined point for you right now, Taurus, with the North Node. Jupiter is the planet of growth and expansion. It makes everything big. This is a big, big, powerful change, Taurus, and I love it. I love it. So the energy is you value what you have right now. Your value systems are about to go to a place here where I feel you're having an upgrade. There could be sudden, unexpected breakthroughs coming in. Okay, sudden with the energy gaining momentum. Things are going to happen with speed, right? You could be getting ready to take action on your dreams at this time right now. 
this tells me taking action on your dreams is prioritizing right now, okay? So there could be even travel with this energy, but there's movement, Taurus, okay? Movement. So let's see what the Kipper, the fortune telling cards want to say for my lovely fellow Taurus out there. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node. What is Taurus's most important message? What is this gateway? Oh, lovers, Gemini. Well, for some of you, you're a cusper. You have Taurus, Gemini in your chart like I do, or you're dealing with a Gemini, the lovers, right? You have a date with destiny, Taurus, that's coming in. Oh, my goodness. Look at the natural beauty, man or woman, that you are. This is a mature individual, whether you're a mature woman or a mature man. Number six. And then we have 15, which is another number six. Six, six is telling me it's not an evil number here. This reading is letting me know you're moving towards alignment. You're coming into alignment with a divine partnership here, okay? There's going to be someone that's coming in that you have a date with that's destined to come into your life right now, okay? For some of you, okay, you're this mature woman. You, you have, like I feel... You are sitting in a place right now where you're at comfort with yourself, okay? You're being adored right now, okay? This is how you're seen. You're a natural beauty, right? Taurus, you're appreciated and supported in your family here. And it feels like you're about to get a message from someone who's going to let you know just what I just said. How much they adore you. How much they appreciate you. This could come in an email or a phone call, okay, Taurus. And look at this, 11, uh, 11 and 777. Taurus, luck is like the boost that's coming in that's going to shift this energy. Be prepared for sudden wealth. Whatever you're working on right now, Taurus, I feel, this is you. Now, this gift, it could be gift. You could be hitting the lottery. You could be hitting like in Las Vegas on the slots, or you could be hitting a jackpot, right? Unexpected income, an unexpected gift. Now, sometimes on this spiritual journey, this sudden wealth comes with a gift, okay, from on high. It's coming from the most high God, right? Chosen ones, you're chosen for this. You're chosen for where you're headed. Expect a powerful change to come in. This is somebody here who I felt luck is on your side. Well, for some of you who do not believe in luck, this might change the way that you feel and think because this is divine timing. So there's no coincidence of this message coming in, Taurus. It lets me know you're about to come across a very, um, an energy, Taurus, where you could be getting a raise. You could be getting recognized for the work that you pay, that you give to the collective here, right? You're being recognized, Taurus. You're responsible. You're dedicated here. You're a hard worker here, okay? So it feels like whatever you've been dedicated on, there's also love. It's like wealth and love that comes to you now. So with the lover's energy here, you have a choice to make, okay? There's a divine partner that's being guided to you. You're going to get a message from this person soon is what I feel, they're working on delivering it. Things are about to speed up. It feels like the 801s when you're getting things that are coming in left and right. Messages, emails, taking action. Boom, 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 right? Unexpectedly. While you're working, this is going to come in unexpectedly. Could have to do with your work. It could have to do with your career. Whatever it has to do with here is what I'm feeling here. You are empowered, Taurus, right now, okay? It feels like the way people see you, you are felt even if you're not heard, right? So you're consenting to love, Taurus, right? You're consenting to the lovers. So wanting love in your life, wanting to be loved, wanted that, that energy of cuddling, right? The season's changing right now. So it feels like you're in touch with knowing yourself now, okay? With the North Node, you've been prepared for where you're headed, where you're going, right? So like the energy here is Taurus and <clears throat> let's get some other cards out. I want to see what this message that's coming in also, okay? It's a natural gift 
that that you are manifesting right now. It's going to bring in sudden wealth. So this could be like if you're working, wherever you're working on, your numbers are going up. Okay, your numbers are going up. You could be getting a promotion. Whatever it is, this is master building, Taurus. Self-mastery. Expecting a very powerful, powerful change. Too many cards. So show me Taurus. Please click for the collective. What is the main message for Taurus? What can Taurus expect on this gateway? This is the gateway. If you are coming from a place here, okay, where... It, 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 it's like you're coming out of a place now. If you were experiencing scarcity in the past, right? That's done. You're going to the mindset of manifestation. Lovers ruled by Mercury. Look, new life tours. Rebirth renewal, right? You're going to be put on a pedestal here, Taurus, okay? Look at you. It's like no one's going to recognize you, Taurus, after this. You're a new person, number 39 here, I have, number 39, okay? So I have um, a birthday of 11, 15, 7, 6. I got my mother and father's birthday, 6th and 7th, wow, of May. So you could be May 6th, May 7th, May 15th, May 11th here, okay? For some of you, you're 39, 49, 59, okay? For some of you, 29, but I'm definitely getting something with the nines here for you, okay? This new life, Taurus, you've earned every bit of it. Every bit here. So you're breaking the molds. You're stripping away any blocks, any creative blocks now. And nothing to hold you back now, Taurus. Nothing's going to hold you back. You're going towards it. You got a new lover. For some of you, new love is here. Right? There's someone here that adores you, Taurus. Okay? They value you. You're valued. Look, time to go. Time to go. This gateway I felt for you now, Taurus, is where you're ascending upward and onward. We are going. It's a very strong, vibrant energy that's coming through for you with the gaining of the momentum. A swift shift is happening here. It's time to go. Another nine. So you could be dealing with a Virgo also. Virgo is the number nine in the tarot deck, okay? There's a door that's awaiting you right here. You see how she's running up these stairs? And in the you could see the doorway. The eclipse gateway is opening up a big doorway, Taurus, for you. It's a big doorway. It's going to light up new love contracts, new adventures, a new start, a new life. Right, Taurus? I do see it for you, Taurus. I feel it. The next six months of this eclipse gateway is going to transform your whole life. This energy of the North Node plays out to March 2023. Look at who's coming towards you. Loyalty, loving, compassionate, compromising love. Somebody here is going to be like I feel Taurus here. They're extremely in love with you. This person's going to come in and complete the, it's like you already are whole and complete. So when you get somebody in your life, it's like when two people come in and have done the work. So this person's energetically aligned with you, Taurus, okay? They value your independence. They value and want to meet your needs. This is someone who's meeting you. It's like, let's meet in the middle here, right? It's love and joy and heart. Look at this. Loyal heart. Love, joy, happiness that's coming in. I feel, Taurus, it's time to chop wood, number 42. It's time to clean up. So there's a pail and a broom. For some of you, you're sweeping out the old dust out of your home. So there could be a spiritual cleansing going on in your home. There's a sense of getting rid of what you don't no longer need, letting out with the old donations right here. It feels like you're getting ready to make a big move. For some of you, you could be moving. For some of you, this change is so powerful. It's going to, like I feel, open doorways like you've never thought before. It's going to open up a big doorway because you're releasing the past. So out with the old, in with the new. There's what I wanted to see. Regeneration, 46. So some of you are 42. Some of you are 46 years old. Regeneration, deep-rooted. Deep-rooted. 
So Venus and Taurus, this is where you're going. You're going in the underworld, deep within the earth here, right? Mother Earth, Mother Gaia, because you have deep roots that belong to abundance of happiness and joy, right? Wealthy, planting that new seed where things are regenerating right now, okay? So like I said, you're coming up from the ashes while you're in Scorpio season. When you enter Sagittarius, you'll be there a new person. You will have made that diamond fire energy here of regenerating, rebirth, renewal. You're going through a rebirth, Taurus. This is not, this is like where endings come in. The rebirth is here to push right through. So it feels like, Taurus, right now, you are felt, okay, in this world. You're consenting to love and happiness and joy. You know yourself very well. You're in touch with the laws of the universe. The laws of assuming and assumption are here. Your desired wish fulfillment is here, Taurus. It's here. So like I feel, like attracts like. Good attracts good, right? You, I feel, Taurus, nothing's going to hold you back anymore. You're ready to go. You're ready to go for this. You have a loyal partner that's coming to you here. They promise, like I feel, to be responsible, loyal. They want a long-term commitment with you. This person is wealthy, wise, successful, responsible, okay? This is someone here that's coming in, I feel, in love. Now, this could be playing out the time frame here. I feel you're enjoying, okay, being in this feminine, divine energy right now where you are flawless, Taurus. This is flawless. So let's see where Taurus is with the epiphany. Like it's time to go, right? New life awaits you, Taurus. And you have six again. And then the lovers, like I'm, I was feeling here, these sixes could have been like something happened in Gemini season. Now, Mercury is ruled by, Gemini is ruled by Mercury. So that tells me there's going to be a conversation here, communication, truthful, honest message that's coming in of communication that's coming towards you now. Gemini is all about being honest, truthful, okay? Also, Mercury energy moves fast. So things are about to move fast here. This person is going to keep communicating with you. They're not going to just leave you standing there is what I feel. So it also feels like clarity. This is going to bring in a breakthrough of clarity when this conversation comes in, okay? This is someone that you already know, Taurus. You are my lifeline. I can't lose you. So someone's coming back. There's going to be a choice between lovers. I feel there's a new person and someone from your past. Yeah, see reciprocity. Someone wants to meet you in the middle. They want to bring in compromising. They know that adjustments are going to be made and needed to be made. So there's a feeling of getting ready to be adaptable here, okay? For some of you, you could be going to visit, like I feel, the city. You could be going where there's a Ferris wheel. This looks like Navy Pier in Chicago. So for some of you, you'll be towards Navy Pier, the Lake, the Michigan, right? Someone could be living in this at a distance. This is somebody that had hidden desires and hidden intentions, okay, Taurus? And this is somebody here that's very guilty for their past actions and behaviors. So you're about to get a message, Taurus, okay? You're standing your ground right now. See how this woman sitting here, man or woman? You're sitting on that sofa right now, okay? She's sitting there. Look at this with this look on her face. And she's dressed like I felt in fine clothing, right? Knows her value, knows her worth, okay? This is somebody who's really kept their, their desires that they have attachments to you, hidden love that they didn't express to you, and now they're feeling guilty for what they did to you as you're moving on. It's time to go. And this person here is in their ego. Someone's in their pride and ego right now. Yeah, no ordinary love and someone's caught up in their emotions. Yeah, somebody's really deep within their emotions. They're drowning in their emotions, okay? And it feels like, Taurus, you're getting ready to move on and getting ready to go, okay? It feels like you are very loyal to this person, Taurus. Loyal heart here, okay? 
soul bond, sacred union here, right? No ordinary love was here. And this person is very guilty. They're caught up in their emotions right now. Let's see. And look, these deep, these are scars and wounds that are going to run deep. And that's where Scorpio is going to trigger. So it's going to be removing the scabs and getting into that inner child, deep wounds, scars that had no confidence of trauma in the family, right? So there's trauma that's going to be triggered now, okay, with the eclipse energy here to reveal these scars and wounds. They go deep and Scorpio's ready to go deep into the underworld to bring up what needs to be transmuted, what needs to be given love. It's like addressing your inner child, you're good, you're safe, I love you, we got this, that kind of an energy. So there's a self-empowerment about your energy right now, Taurus, that I felt you're walking into the to the underworld in self-empowerment. It's like the light is within you. The lap of the soul is the light of the mind. So it tells me you've got this sense of strength that's coming to you here, standing in your value, and you're being admired. Your person admires your integrity, Taurus. You're shining right now. I'm going to leave the reading there, loves. Thank you for tuning in. I hope this reading helps, and I greatly appreciate your comments. That lets me know that this reading is resonating and meaning something to someone out there. Thank you so much. Be blessed, and may the force be with you, Taurus.